I've got an interesting show for you today. I'm going to show this baby off. Uh, Mike from the Geek Pub called me the other day to come over to his house and see what he constructed. And uh, he let me take this home and I'm going to do a proper review on it. So let's take a closer look. This is the nozzle used to connect to an air compressor, like this. This valve is used to lock the air into the gun. These are the storage tanks that can store anywhere from one to three shots. This is the trigger which activates the firing mechanism, which incidentally is a water sprinkler valve. To load it, just drop in a CO2 cartridge and wait until it hits bottom. So the first thing I thought I'd try it on was a giant ant pile in my backyard. I've often irritated these ants with firecrackers like this. Back. Wait back. And while I'm pretty sure they find that annoying, this RPG is more like they got hit by an asteroid. Watch this in slow motion to see what I mean. Oh look, they're really mad now! I had a smaller ant pile I thought I'd try it on too. The next thing I tried it on was this old broken ViewSonic monitor. The first shot was anticlimactic, so I tried one more time. Okay, so I got to thinking, why not test it on spam like I do all my other guns? Holy crap! I've never seen anything like this in a spam test before. This is the carnage left over. So it definitely went all the way through the first can, and it went almost through the second can. But I'm not even sure what rating to give it since it even damaged the third can. I'm going to go ahead and give it a spam rating of 2. Next on the list is a Dr. Pepper can. The can is obliterated. What about a milk jug? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Here's the entry point. Here's the exit point. So I decided to set up an actual target to test with. So I'm setting up this uh, makeshift target here and I'm hoping to accomplish two things. Um, the first thing I'd like to accomplish is just to see can you even hit a target with it at a distance of 10 or 20 feet? The second thing I'm hoping to do is use the sound from it hitting this wood to see if I can calculate the feet per second or the velocity of this thing, in which case I could hopefully uh, calculate out the number of uh, joules of energy this thing has. Um, so let's see what we can do. So when I shot this thing, it actually hit these boards and then it actually ricocheted off and went all the way back up and landed on top of my house and rolled back down. So this right here is where I actually pulled the trigger and this little blip right here is where it actually hit the wood about 19 feet away. I had an absolute blast shooting this thing. I wish I didn't have to give it back. Um, I want to tell you about the velocity. I said I was going to try to calculate the velocity, but for some reason the numbers kept coming up wrong. Well, at least I think they're wrong. I kept coming up with 40 feet per second, maybe 50 tops. And I just think this thing's got to have more. I I'm thinking it's got to be at least 200 feet per second. But uh, uh, in order to test it, uh, I need to be able to shoot a target that's further away. Unfortunately, when you shoot at something further away, uh, with this thing, it's not extraordinarily accurate. It doesn't even have any sights on it. So I'm afraid I would damage something else. So uh, I didn't want to get too far away from my target. So if I were able to keep it longer, I might be able to try it out on a target further away 
and that would give me a more accurate uh, sample to test uh, for the velocity. Uh, another thing I want to mention is my air compressor only goes up to 100 psi. Now this thing can probably take up to, I'm going to say probably 160 or whatever the, the top pressure rating is for PVC piping. Um, so I could probably get a lot more power out of this if I just had a better air compressor. In fact, I think Mike at the Geek Pub, I think his uh, compressor was uh, 135 psi. Um, so yeah, I mean, 100 is pretty darn impressive as it is. I can't imagine, uh, you know, ha having uh, you know 50% more uh, power, which you could probably do. I know this thing was built primarily as a proof of concept uh, by Mike, but uh, this thing has a lot of potential. Um, I could see it being redesigned uh, to operate more like an actual gun with uh, being able to put sights or a scope or a laser sight or something like that on it. Um, in fact, I could also see ways right now I'm looking at it that you could modify it to shoot other projectiles. Uh, you could probably even make it work similar to a shotgun. And I also even realized it might be possible to modify it to work like a um, overpowered super soaker. And that would be something interesting too. So uh, I see a lot of potential uh, for some design changes if uh, this um, project were to evolve into something else. Um, so yeah, I mean, I know my channel's about air guns, and this is an air gun. It's not what I originally envisioned when I uh, started uh, this channel, but uh, I do see a lot of potential for some future videos with some interesting stuff like this. So uh, I'll see you around.